If you are watching this video, you are probably either frustrated with science or you are frustrated because no one listens to science. So why is that? And how did we land in such a mess where everyone is so frustrated? I first want to address the elephant in the room, why half of the population suddenly hates science. Spoiler alert, scientists themselves have something to do with it. We have all heard the old professors reading their scripts in their coded academic language that sometimes even other professors are not able to understand. The more robotic, the better. What do you think? Are they relatable? And why do they do that? Can't they just use normal language so that everyone would be able to understand? After all, our speech is just a vessel for knowledge. Shouldn't it be as simple and as engaging as possible so that it could reach as many people as possible? Well, some scientists think so. Let's take Einstein, for example. He was a scientist. He should probably have some idea of how science works. He said everything should be made as simple as possible, but no simpler. Meaning, of course, that we shouldn't simplify things to the point that they change their meaning. But can't scientists speak in front of students and cameras using relatable language? Of course they can. So why do they keep distancing themselves from others, making themselves and their knowledge completely unrelatable? Well, very often the question contains the answer. Scientists want to distance themselves. They want to show their academic language and all the fancy ways they can express themselves. Why? Because like every other human being, they want to present themselves in a way they think society would like them more. But I would argue they don't understand science well enough to avoid this behaviour. Let's look at this picture. Did Einstein want to look presentable here? No. Why not? Because he probably understood that being serious and academic makes you unrelatable. And apparently Einstein knew how to become relatable since everyone uses his name when they want to say that someone is a smart cookie. So why should scientists leave their shells and their artificial bubble and be more relatable? In my opinion, because they need to understand the human psyche better. We have all evolved to relate to people who are perceived as friends. When a scientist speaks in a way we barely understand and looks down on everyone, feeding his ego and putting himself above everyone else, well, they need to be prepared to be recognized as foreign and even as enemies, which does not exactly serve their cause. So if the so-called smart people want to continue to call themselves smart, they should abandon some of their ego to get their message across. And they shouldn't wonder why people are not listening when they are intentionally using language that not everyone understands. Furthermore, they need to understand that a hundred years ago there were almost no distractions, which meant that even the most robotic and boring scientists could get some attention and could deliver their message. Nowadays, those same scientists are competing with the powerful artificial intelligence algorithms of social media, and, as we see, they don't stand a chance. Of course, people who understand why scientists are not being relatable should understand that everyone is human and everyone makes mistakes. But besides being unrelatable, very often the information that they are trying to bring to people's attention is actually correct. So, of course, I think we shouldn't ignore science because it's boring, but we should do everything in our power to make it more relatable, so it could reach as many people as possible. If you agree with this message, give your vote by liking and sharing this video. If it goes viral, maybe we can convince enough scientists to stop building artificial walls and start including everyone. If you like the idea of relatable and easy to understand science, maybe you would like our platform for education. You can visit us at nolaxi.com. Share your opinion below and subscribe for more future thoughts.